Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I'm going to demo RAML resource type, how to define RAML resource type for reusable patterns in API specification, and how to use them for resource and methods inside API specification. I logged into the design center. I have a couple of projects defined here. I will open online shopping project. This project defines the API specification for orders and for products. We can test it here. Slash get order returns all the orders. Similarly, slash order slash ID. Return single order. You can see that single order. Similarly, product returns uh, slash product returns uh, all the products. array of the products and slash product slash id returns single product so we have a uh, four get methods defined one is under slash order another one slash order slash id similarly we have two get method defined under slash products and slash product slash id so we can create a resource type for these methods and we can put this definition under resource type and then once the resource type is defined, we can use the resource type for these get methods. So we don't have to define these get methods four times. We will define just in a one place in resource type. And here we will use that resource type and pass the parameter value in all four get methods. So I have already created that RAML specification with the resource type. So I will go back to design center again. And I will open the e-commerce with resource type project. Here I have uh, created a folder resource type under resource type. I have defined the read resource type. So here I define the get method. So get method return the response 200 with body. So I have defined a parameter for type, display name and description and examples. And this resource type I am referencing in a main RAML. Here I am referencing the resource type and I'm giving the name read resource type. I'm using the include and referencing the read resource type RAML that defines the resource type and it has the get method definition. We can also uh, define the resource type in line right here, but it is better to put outside. So main RAML does not expand too much we have defined the order type product type in a separate file under separate folder similarly resource type also we can put outside and we can uh, reference it from a file using include now this read resource type i'm using under order resource 
slash order slash id resource slash product and slash product slash id resource so here i just uh, referenced it and here i'm using it so this is the resource type read resource and these are the parameter value that i'm passing response type forget all order i need to pass order type array and here is the display name retrieve the orders response description post method retrieves all orders and here we need to pass the examples similarly for uh, slash order slash id we need to pass the the values for response type response display name and response description these are the parameter we defined in resource type so similarly we are passing the parameter value for uh, read resource under slash product here we are passing uh, array of the product type because it returns uh, multiple products and here we are giving display name description and here is the examples similarly for get product by id we need to pass just a single product type as a response type name and then description and here is the example so i can show you again these are the parameter resource type name resource display name resource description response examples and that's what we are passing here in all the four places for the read resource type so this resource type will define the get method because we are defining get method here under this resource type and these are the parameter we can test it get all orders try send we got all the orders similarly we can uh, get the single product try it 100 send and we got the single product so this is the way you can take the benefit of resource type we can put the common pattern in a single separate file and uh, we can define the resource type and then we can use it that resource type for a resource and we don't have to define the methods again and again so here we just put it a bun method inside the resource type but we can have multiple methods also under a single resource type so let me show you that example as well so this is a order project here i'm defining a collection resource type which have a two methods defined get and post and similarly i have another resource type item which defines a get put and delete methods this is associated to the single resource single item because put takes single item delete takes single item or the just id and get by order id returns the single resource type that's why i put all these three methods under a item we can give any name item or member and this method returns the collection because here returns the type name array so this is a like a get all order or get all products and it is a for creating the resource 
like creating order or creating a product and then I can use these two resource type here under the resource so here I use the collection resource type and I'm passing the value here order type order and I'm passing the resource collection example and uh, this is for uh, creation another example so we can take the benefit of uh, resource tag to define the two method at the same time but the problem with this is uh, that uh, wherever we are using this collection or item resource type all the method will be defined in the RAML specification that is defined in the resource type so for example collection defines the get all and the post method then this will define the two method get all resource and create the resource similarly under id we are using item resource type so under slash id it will define the all the method as defined under item resource type so here we defined uh, get put and delete so all these methods will be defined under slash order slash id and similarly under product we are using collection to define get all and uh, create the product and here to get the single product and uh, to update and delete the product so suppose if we need to define just only one method here and two methods here then this approach won't work because collection resource type will always define two methods in you know, each and every case so if you want to use a only single method at a time then you better to define a single method under a resource type like uh, the one we did it actually in previous example for read resource type like here So here we defined a read resource type that reads the resource. It could be collection of resource or a single resource, but everywhere we are using get method, we can reuse this pattern and we can use this pattern in many API definitions for many resources wherever we want to retrieve the resources so these are the ways we can define the resource type and we can use it this makes the main api specification definition quite simple and readable and it also increase the reusability so this is all in this video. I hope you understood what a resource type is and how to define the resource type and how to reuse the resource type for the resources and methods. This is all in this video. If you like this video, subscribe the channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.